What's up everyone, this is Nylak Dreams back with another video and I just wanted to quickly apologize for it being over a week since I last uploaded. I didn't mean for it to take this long in between uploads, I've just been really busy and when I actually caught some free time to work on a video last week, I hit a wall and wasn't able to finish it out due to some problems related to the topic of the video I was trying to do. So unfortunately I wasn't able to get that video out, but I am looking forward to all the birthday stuff coming up and I am getting everything together, been working on getting tickets and perk up mats to be able to level anything up that's coming and all the stuff that I'll be able to obtain. So I'm looking forward to that. But today we're going to be taking a look at the new sci-fi melee weapon, the Astro Bat 9000. And if you don't already have this, you'll be able to pick it up from the weekly shop for 1680 gold. But we'll just go ahead and hop right into the perks and check out everything that's available on it. There's a lot of builds going around with this and a lot of ways that you can perk this. I know that some people are throwing attack speed on it, but this is just the way that I personally built it for my preference of gameplay. Feel free to build it however you want because there are multiple builds that you can get out of this weapon and use it the way that you want to. But we went with a double crit damage and crit rating build to focus on the base crit chance since it was base 20. And it's actually a pretty good crit chance to be going off of and get the crit build and it also pairs nicely with the six perk here. If you were to go with the attack speed and left out any crit rating in the build, you wouldn't really be able to activate this six perk. So I recommend personally just being able to go off of the crit build to be able to activate this more often and get a larger bit of damage off of it as well. And the last perk that you'll notice is I have 40 armor for the utility slot instead of the heavy attack energy efficiency. This is just my personal recommendation due to the heavy attack not having a big splash radius so since the heavy attack is underperforming in AoE group clear I don't suggest that you focus this as your main source of damage so I would just recommend the armor to get a little bit of tankiness and use the basic attack chain but if you're going for the fun factor definitely throw it in for the heavy attack energy efficiency and hit as many heavy attacks as you want because it's a very unique perk and you can you know hit those baseballs at a range and be able to do some aoe blast damage so it's definitely a fun factor if that's how you want to play it i recommend that you go for the heavy attack energy efficiency but with that we can head into the hero loadout and see what squad we're going to be using i personally decided to go with deadly blade crash in the commander slot to make use of that crit build and what she's going to do is every time you get a melee critical hit she's going to apply an affliction tick for 87 percent of the damage and that's going to last for three seconds and it's also going to give 30 percent snare for the team perk we decided to go with blast from the past and this is mainly focused on being able to have survivability in the higher level missions and in the support team we got sword and hide which is just going to give more mitigation to help with that survivability your shield is depleted and it's going to increase your armor by 33 then we have assassination in the next slot which is just stacking melee damage swab the deck for increased club damage by 17 percent going coconuts which is your healing source and you get a little bit of damage as well when you're under the effects of the coconut and then we have saurian claws for 5.5 percent of your current health to melee damage as your current health is so this is the build that i personally recommend if you wanted to you can swap out privateer hype for deadly blade crash and pretty much get about the same build and just be able to use her in the commander slot you just have to switch her to the commander and switch deadly blade to the support and you can just interchange those and be able to use either or for this build like i said this melee weapon has a lot of different uses that you can make of it so play it how you want but we're gonna go ahead and jump into some gameplay and see how both of these heroes perform so i'm actually glad for the release of the astro bat 9000 since this is our first club that's capable of running a crit rating and double crit damage build and it seems to be falling into place. I'm satisfied with the damage output as well. I know that some feel as though it attacks slow, but to me, it's personally expected that the attack speed is a little slower than the majority of other swords. And it's actually on par with the attack speed from the Tree of Light. So for me personally, on the higher end of melee weapons, where you're not looking at just your mediocre and lesser weapons, I would say this is a middle of the pack kind of weapon. It's not in the good category. It's a little above average, but I wouldn't quite place it in a high tier where I would choose it over multiple other really good melee weapons that are currently existing right now in the game. The damage is doing considerably well and the crit hits are actually hitting upwards of 200k or 250k dependent on the hero that you're using. So it's in this middle of the area where it's not hitting really hard like some other axes or scythes that you see but it's not quite as low as the majority of your swords and stuff. So 
it's got this nice little in-between state where it's a little bit slower attack speed and a little bit higher base damage. So when we're speaking of just spam clicking and hitting the basic attack chain, not taking into consideration of the heavy attack, it seems to be doing pretty well and I would recommend to use this in many areas where if you wanted to switch it up and not use your traditional scythe or sword that you've been using, you would be able to slot this in for a slightly different playstyle than what we're used to. But in regards to the heavy attack, it's certainly a unique one that we haven't seen before. Getting to use that ranged hit with a close quarters melee weapon and having a bit of splash damage paired with that it's adding a fun factor and it's also got its uses in being able to clear out some things in areas where you normally wouldn't be able to with other melee weapons so I'm a little bit of a fan of the way that they implemented this however I feel as though it can be underwhelming especially when you don't get crits on the crit build weapon so maybe the paleo luna build that some people are running gives a little bit more of a reliable source of damage on that aspect however even if you were to get a little bit more reliable damage I also still personally feel as though the splash damage the radius is just not large enough and I actually recommend that it would be tweaked a little bit to maybe have a bit of a larger blast radius or just have it to where you can split three different energy balls in a cone instead of just being able to hit one and maybe that spreads out and gets a little more AoE factor in there and one thing to note with the heavy attack if you do hit a propane with it you will certainly ignite the propane so make sure that you're not hitting it off into trap tunnels and exploding everything but since this weapon has multiple different ways that you could perk it and different loadouts that add a different style of gameplay, whether you want to go for crits or just mainly focus on a raw damage with some attack speed, it's providing that personalization with how you choose to use the weapon. So definitely experiment and see which way works for you guys and just see if you have more fun with one or the other. My experience with it is I actually really enjoy getting to use Privateer Hype with this as well. We haven't had any club heroes that were being able to be put to use. So this is just really nice being able to get to use something that was just collecting dust. But all in all, I definitely favor being able to use a different melee weapon type and just being able to see something new come into the game. I do agree with most people on the fact that the heavy attack seems pretty underwhelming, but at least we have something new to play around with and hopefully we can see more interesting things come in as we get more into this retro sci-fi event. But that's it for this video. Let me know what you all think in the comments about the new Astro Bat 9000. Any personalized loadouts that you may be using, let me know them because I'm interested and curious to maybe try some other loadouts that you guys are testing as well. And again, thank you for all the patience and the support that you guys provide even when I'm not able to put up videos the encouragement and the positivity really helps me to keep going and I really enjoy being a part of this community but I appreciate all the love and support and I can't wait to be putting out more videos moving into this birthday event and I'm really excited to see what's to come thank you all again for watching and I'll see you in the next one